Hi guys, welcome. This week's video is going to be a quite interesting video, I think. Um, I'm looking forward to see what other people are going to come up with. Um, so basically, James over at James's Man Cave set everyone a challenge. And the challenge was to design and build or make a flag. And it could be your country's flag, another country's flag. It could even be a flag with your name or your channel name and logo on. Um, and you could basically use any materials you wanted. So, to start with, I got myself some old clothes. Not mine. Red, I got blue, and I got some white. And I was going to kind of use fabric and kind of attach it to a wooden frame or something similar to that um, until my daughter come along and told me that was a boring idea so I have to agree with her it was a bit so I racked my brain and decided to come up with something a bit more unusual and unique and I'm quite happy with how it turned out in the end so if you want to see what I decided to do and how I built it then enjoy the video cheers guys oh and I'll uh, I'll leave a link to James's man cave down in the description and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're you're visiting or seeing it for the first time hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos so enjoy right for this project i'm going to be using some offcuts of 4x2 lumber it's already been planed and thicknessed off camera and here i'm just ripping the pieces in half on the on the uh, table saw I'm so glad I made these uh, push sticks because I feel so much more comfortable using these rather than the uh, NAF one they supply with the saw Then once the pieces were ripped into two, I could then go over to the mite saw and chop them all down to length. Here I'm over at the band saw and I'm cutting out a template which I will be using for the project. Um, you'll see how I'm going to be using it very shortly. So you can see what the template looks like and then I'm using a piece of the same timber that I'm going to be making the flag with and I'm just making a series of lines, um, the thickness of the wood and basically what the lines are for is the first piece I put the template with the end flush with the end of the piece of wood and I draw around it. Then the second piece of timber, I move the template one line to the left and then draw around it. And the third piece, I move it two lines to the left and draw around it and so on. And what that will give me when they're all glued together is kind of like a, a wave effect. And you'll see what I mean later on in the build. So 
So now it's just over to the bandsaw and start cutting out all the individual pieces that are going to be glued together to make the flag. Take note of the off cut because I was planning to make one flag but then I decided I might as well make use of the off cuts and make two. Then basically it's just a case of putting a thin bead of glue along the bottom edge and gradually stacking the pieces up and firing in some brads to hold it all together while the glue dries. So you can see that by moving the template every time I marked up a piece of wood gives you the uh, the wave effect or in this case the, the wavy flag look. So this is where the hard work starts, I needed to spend hours and hours, and I mean hours and hours, grinding the surface down until it was smooth, followed by hours and hours of hand sanding, um, because I haven't got a machine sander. Then my grinder decided to give up the ghost halfway through the second flag. So I had to resort to the big boy. I know the uh, diamond disc ain't exactly made for wood carving, but when needs must. Now it's time to start painting the flags. So I'm gonna start off by Painting the base coat, which in this case will be white. Then to make the stars on the American flag, I basically taped up the corner, cut a cardboard star out and basically drew round the star 50 times. Then I cut round 50 stars with a sharp razor blade and then basically pulled off the remain, remaining um, masking tape which basically left me with 50 stars. This was another time consuming part of the uh, flag build, but I think you'll agree that it was worth the effort. Now 
Now I bought this paint from Amazon um, for one ninety nine a can, and I mean it comes out okay spray wise, but with the blue I actually had to use both hands because the thing wouldn't spray properly, but it was enough to get the job done. So it's basically paint a bit, then mask it up, paint another colour and so on until the flags were finished. This was the part of the uh, build that I really enjoyed because now you can really see the flags taking shape. Now I just need to gently pick 50 stars off. I didn't think this project through very well, did I? So because the surface of the flags were quite pitted and rough, I did expect to get a little bit of bleed um, from the paints because obviously the masking tape wouldn't make a perfect seal, um, but it came out better than I thought. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think it turned out nice. God save our gracious queen. Yeah, whatever. So this is where I messed up a little bit um, because this is Saturday night and the video needs to be done and 
ready for the next day um, I was up against the time a little bit and when I started to apply the clear varnish the red started to kind of bleed a little bit because it wasn't a hundred percent dry um, and that's evident more so down in the left hand lower corner but by the time I noticed what was going on it was kind of too late to do anything so I just varnished them anyway and you can see that the uh, American flaggers had the same problem to finish the flags off I'm just using some of the leftover bed base um, it had previously been planed and thicknessed so I threw some stain on it and then I basically nailed it around and glued it um, to the outside and I think you'll agree that it actually came out really nice right guys that's gonna wrap up another video um want to give a big shout out to james over at James's man cave um, for coming up with the idea for the uh, maker flag 2020. Um, is there anything I'd do differently? Um, I think the only thing I would change if I was to do this again was to leave uh, sufficient time in between coats um, and then I wouldn't have ended up with like the bits that have bled out when I put the varnish on but overall I really enjoyed this build so thanks James um, brilliant idea and I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone else comes up with so cheers for watching guys and if you're new to the channel um, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon before you leave and you'll be notified of every video I upload in the future so that's it. Cheers for watching, guys.